In this video, I'm going to be reviewing an AI copywriting tool called Writer. To give a true and accurate idea of what to expect when you use Writer, I'm actually going to create a short blog using some of the features of Writer, and then I'm gonna take that blog and pull it through a premium plagiarism checker, such as Grammarly Premium, to see what sort of plagiarism score we get at the end of it. Now, just before we jump into the software, if you want to purchase just writer go ahead and use my affiliate link below found in the description it will also give you the lifetime deal so it's a one-off purchase of writer so let's go ahead jump into my screen and see what the fuss is about here we are on the writer website and I'm gonna go ahead I'm already logged in and I'm gonna go ahead and click start writing and as you can see this little pop-up shows up there's nothing really else to the writer software it's incredibly simple and you really don't have to faff around too much so uh, just a quick recap one of the first things that you want to do is select your language um, weirdly they don't have English UK but for now I'm just gonna have to go with US English and then you want to select your tone so this is the uh, style and um, this is the tone of the writing if you want it to be funny you can select funny go ahead and do formal and right under it you have all of the different templates so there's a ton here and to go through every single feature might get a little long winded for you guys use the features that i would tend to use for a blog okay so the first thing i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and do blog idea and outline keywords i'm going to do here is uh, what's my niche i'm going to just do something random such as dog training okay to sit okay and then i'm gonna do write for me okay so within a couple of seconds it's created uh, how to teach a dog to sit so it's actually taken our title but what's quite nice is that they've capitalized it and you can notice it's even done h1 so it's understood that we needed a title so it's given this the h1 tag then uh, getting started i don't think that's needed so i'm actually going to get rid of that so teaching your dog to sit on command cool tips for teaching sit on different surfaces and and in different positions what is the proper technique for sitting is it okay to use food as reward how long will i need my dog training now actually these are phenomenal like this is actually a fantastic outline of how to teach a dog to sit okay i am curious down the line to see if this is plagiarized but we'll get into that a little bit later now that we have our outline uh, the next step is to kind of create paragraphs now there's a few ways you can do this you can highlight the text and you can say well if you want it rephrased just rephrase it or if you want to improve it like get better grammar and stuff like that it will do that and also the paragraph so this will actually write a paragraph on this uh, heading which is exactly the sort of thing we want to do or under the more you can expand it shorten it or append uh, a few words to the end of the sentence um, so for now what I actually want to do is I just want to have a quick look through here and I want to use the past template the past template is a template that you would use just to kind of spark curiosity make an emotional attachment to people and um, I want to put th uh, the text that this generates under the first header so I'm just going to copy how to teach a dog to sit with no past experience experience okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and do right for me okay so right here you can see that it's it's created the problem so what is the problem people are facing then it's agitate so it's actually creating that emotional attachment and annoying them in a way by reminding them of how difficult the process is and then it's saying hey well look if you read this article it's going to give you the solution to all your issues so I'm going to go ahead and grab all of that and I'm just going to paste it right here and I'm going to get rid of problem and I've noticed here it's not actually finished off the sentence so um, what it says here is train your dog in just a few minutes this step-by-step -step guide will help you train your dog to sit by following simple instructions that any and i imagine that it should say something like that, that anyone can follow so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to highlight it all and where it says more i'm going to do append so there you go so this step-by-step -step guide will help you train your dog to sit 
by following simple instructions that any pet owner can follow okay so that's actually that's great now we've got our main title we've uh, created the past framework here and next we want to expand on these sentences so I'm gonna highlight each one and I'm gonna do paragraph okay so that's actually a really decent paragraph let's move on to this one and do paragraph okay so this paragraph here doesn't really make much sense so I'm gonna go ahead and do rephrase okay, that's much better okay and I, I kind of want to expand on this so I'm just again I'm just gonna highlight it I'm gonna go to more and I'm gonna click expand so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a few words just so I can kind of trigger writer to expand on a certain theme because at this point I kind of want to create a little bit of a listicle. Um, so what I'm going to put here is and then I'm going to highlight this and I'm actually going to do expand, okay? And it's expanded with a, a colon at the end. So let's try paragraph. That actually looks pretty decent. I don't like this first line, so that can be removed. I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna go ahead and do paragraph. Okay, so this text isn't really anything related. So I'm just gonna press Control Z on my backdrop. And what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to type in what is the proper technique and I'm gonna add for teaching a dog to dog to sit hopefully it's going to actually create text about that okay that's not really the best uh, text so let's go ahead and highlight it again and do paragraph okay so actually this uh, these three steps here is in fact correct so I don't really need to improve that anymore so that's now done it okay so again let's go ahead highlight this one and do paragraph and do you notice every single heading that I've got all I want to do is just highlight it and click paragraph because ultimately that's what I want the paragraph to be about again what I've found here is that because this title isn't specific enough it's kind of confused so what I'm gonna do is change this slightly so is it okay to use food as a reward to is it okay to use food as a reward for dog training. Highlight this and do a paragraph. It's actually a really good paragraph. I've just added a full stop to the end. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and do a paragraph. Before we finish off this blog, I wanted to try something. Um, so I'm going to type, write a conclusion of above. Well, actually no, write a conclusion of how to teach a dog to sit. I'm gonna copy this and do command. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in this article, how to teach a dog to sit. And then I'm just going to highlight this more and expand. Just create it, let me just uh, do conclusion. In less than 10 minutes, I've created 763 words with a blog which is pretty accurate. But the question is, what sort of plagiarism score is this article so I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna paste in the text as you can see and let's go ahead and click the plagiarism okay so it says 8% plagiarized which actually is a nothingness you can see the majority of stuff here is 1% uh, that one was 2% 1% 1% just watch me create a blog live and as you can see there was a multitude of different features you could use from email creation to headline creation to SEO meta descriptions uh, but ultimately writer does what it says it does on the tin which is a co AI copywriting assistant so the idea of using these tools is really the the 80 20 rule which is 80% of the heavy lifting should be done by writer and 20% is you keeping on track now like i said at the beginning of this video you can get the lifetime deal of this by clicking my affiliate link below and it also helps this channel grow and lets me know you want to keep seeing content just like this i do hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time